Are we live? We are live. Are we live? We're live. Are we live? Live. Hi there. Free fly, booth tour, new product tour. Uh, NAB 2017. It's uh, 8.30 in the morning. Everybody's hustling, setting up the booth before the doors open. I just wanted to answer some questions, which Brent's going to pull up in a second that people had, and then give you a quick run through of the new products. So this is Pilot. So let's get in tight here. And I'll explain to you kind of what this is and the idea behind it. Um, so it's got a mimic as the heart of the system in the middle. And then we've got kind of a, a, a really high-end adjustable damping focus knob. So this guy right here, you can turn that, adjust the feel of the knob to your suiting. You can see the focus indicator moving as I move there. So we've got focus, iris, and zoom. Um, we've got AB buttons on both modules. So you can do all kinds of interesting things uh, with that. So I can set marks if I want to. And this is all just beta firmware. We're just still exploring what we're going to do with it. But you can see the LED lights up as we hit those marks. It's kind of cool. Pull down to clear. Um, and then iris, we've got this iris slide here. You can see iris adjusting and then also adjusting on the screen. And then we've got, uh, we call this the kind of the iris module, but we've got a force joystick here, a two axis force joystick. So you can use this for a variety of things. You can use it for zoom if you want to. That's how we've got it set up right now, I think. So this is a very high resolution force joystick. So you can just, I mean, you can go really, really light on it and do very, very precise moves, or you can put more force on it and go faster. So. Um, for people that have used force joysticks in the past, you're familiar with the way it feels. It's a very different feel from like a displacement joystick, but a lot of people really like it. Um, and then kind of the interesting thing, one of the interesting things about this is we built the system to be modular so you can use it in different ways. So this is kind of like a traditional setup that you would see um, somebody like a like first AC with. <clears throat> Oftentimes people want to break off controls of different axes, so you can imagine uh, giving just this module to the DIT who's going to be controlling iris so you can break off there's a rosette mount right there you can break off control of iris hand that off conversely if you wanted to break off iris remove that and just have a compact focus mechanism um, I'm gonna go grab one example of another setup of this will be right back set this up as a demo to how to show how you could distribute control of the modules in a different way. So we've got the focus knob mounted over here. This is kind of like a fake camera setup um, where we've got Mimic mounted to it. So you can see I'm controlling the camera. Let's get over here. Go up there, shoot back. So you can see I'm controlling the camera just like I would a handheld camera which this is kind of a cool setup because you get the motion of, you get very organic and fluid handheld camera operator movements, but from a stationary point of view. Because there's a very different, it's a very different look to be handheld operating while standing sta like stably versus like trying to walk. And, uh, so sometimes you want like that stable kind of stationary handheld camera look. This is a cool way to do it. So we've got the iris module mounted over here via rosette. All the options there, force joystick, iris, and then over here if I want to, I can pop onto this module and have control of focus. So this was just set up as a demonstration unit to show how you could distribute control of this system, so it's built to be very modular. Another example, uh, you, can re you can replace the left handle on uh, Mimic with the iris module. So we've actually got the force joystick mapped to pan and tilt right now. Zoom, zoom is mounted to the iris slider, or zoom is mapped to the iris slider. And then we've got focus, the bush pilot focus over here. So we're kind of trying to build all the components, parts and pieces so you can assemble these systems in any way you want to suit the particular uh, shot you're trying to get and the particular setup that you like because everybody's got their own setup. This handle, uh, right now we've got a walnut handle mounted to the thing. It just mounts via a standard like bolt pattern that we've described. You can move the rosette anywhere on this piece so you can adjust the feel of it, the depth. Um, and same with the... Let me grab the handle, let's go to handle one. Same with this guy, he's got a rosette mount so you can clock him around and place it, kind of position and place it whatever way is comfortable for you. 
like when I use it, I like to mount it kind of one more down, so it's more, these two are kind of in the line, but um, it still feels pretty good as is. So, so you can see um, the functionality of Movi Pro and Mimic is just continuing to grow. Now we've got the Fizz main screen, Fizz access screen, where you can kind of, you can do all this interesting thing, speed limits, torque limits, damping, motor direction, knob direction, etc. You can pop into these different screens. Dennis just continues to make more and more and more awesome UI, so that's cool. Input setup, um, and then I think soon with the new firmware release, you'll be able to have up to four of these modules connected to a Pro or XL. So we'll have a multi-controller network where um, up to four of these things can be used. So you can imagine the kind of killer ways you could distribute control around the set with these various modules. Anything else on that? Did I forget anything? It's got a you know quarter twenty mount. We don't have the. There's a monitor mount on here that will be um, included. So it's got like similar to Movi Pro, a little 13 millimeter quick release plug that you can mount a monitor there if you need to. Uh, did you get questions? Uh, Questions for Facebook Live? No. Um, no, there was a post, a previous one? post. Yeah. No, no, I posted on our thing. Said, hey, if you have questions, let us know. How about you, Sam? Uh, Try to find it. Okay. So, Sid asked uh, when I posted a, a few little bit ago, what are the chances of us seeing a standalone three-axis receiver for pilot and unit? definitely on our mind and on the product roadmap. We're just a little resource constrained to get it done right now, but we definitely will. I think it'll, you know, it's an obvious thing to offer with uh, with that guy. Can the GCU Mimic or Mobi controller control the camera settings on Carbon? Not at present. I think we can just do start-stop via the Sony multi-terminal, um, but I'm sure, I'm not sure, I'm hopeful that in the future we can figure out how to control more cameras via, or more settings via multi-terminal. Justin John, Moby XL promo video, please share. Share. Uh, is the carbon, and then John John Barry asked, uh, is the carbon suitable for Alpha 6? We don't have a final weight for the final shipping package on carbon, uh, but I think it will be. It'll, I think it'll be in the 10 to 12 pound range, so it should work fine on Alta. Um, let's keep going around. So we got Moby XL. This is cool. Panavision hooked us up with the DXL. So we've got the Panavision DXL and the 28 to 80 on here, which is a really nice lens. Um, people have been whipping this thing around on the Techno. This is actually one of the first times I've gotten to spend this much time hands-on with the Techno crane, so it's been just fun, fun for me to nerd out and learn about this thing, learn from Scott at Cinemoves, see how it works. So Scott from Cinemoves came out and hooked us up with this and set it up and made sure we didn't tip it over on our heads, that kind of thing, so it's great. Um, Moby XL, I mean, you've, I think you've heard all about this. It's just a giant Moby. Giant, giant, powerful Moby. Super, super strong. Uh, carbon? Carbon. This is Moby Carbon. So this is our first, the first in our line of five axis gimbals. Uh, so we've got a Sony A7S II mounted inside of there, and a Sony 24 to 240 lens. This cover is because some companies have decided that Freefly will be their research and development division without really uh, asking our permission. So we've got this nice little flap, so when we see those companies come to the booth, we'll put the flap down, what does it say? <laughs> <laughs> Um, but anyway, this is rad. This is this is the thing I've dreamed of for the last 10 years. I mean, <clears throat> kind of my trajectory on this is like everybody's. I saw Cineflex being used on planet Earth, and I mean, my jaw just dropped. Being able to see the compression and the type of shots that you can get when you can punch in on whatever production you're working on is just stunning. And from that point forward, Dave B and I were and Hugh were talking about like what how amazing would it be if we could ever achieve that kind of stability on a drone? And uh, this is kind of the first step in that direction. So this is our first five axis gimbal. We've integrated it with a Sony a7S II 20, 24 to 240 lens. Um, we went with that lens and camera combination first because 
we wanted to keep this package like absolutely as small as it could be so it could be easily handheld. Because I, when I think about the total value that this system will add to the world, it's not just about the camera and lens, it's about the finished package that you can create, the finished shot that you can create with it. And being able to handhold this thing in a crowd and move through spaces and take it to a wedding, shoot natural history, shoot red, you know, stuff for Red Bull, uh, action sports, it's the ability to get this package in the world's most interesting places that will create the world's most interesting shots. It's not just about camera and lens. If you remember when GoPro first started showing up on the screen, no one would argue that the image quality on that was the same as uh, you know, super, uh, 35 millimeter film. But you were able to get that camera in places that were so amazing that it, the total value of the shot was much more than just the image quality of the shot. And that's kind of our thesis with this product. Um, sure, in the future we'll do bigger ones that can take, um, you know, epic, airy, mini, bigger lenses, that kind of thing. But I'm truly, truly excited about this one because I know we're going to, you know, reservations have started coming in and there are some heavy hitters that do amazing stuff, like Ty Evans stopped by the booth yesterday. And I can picture him taking this out and doing what he does in an amazing way. Frank, okay. sa Frank says thinking live broadcast aerials for would be. Who's Frank? Live broadcast aerials, I like it. Yeah, be great for that. Yeah. Um, oh, Shane Hurlbut is doing a demo at 2 p.m. today, so he's going to walk through how he uses the Moby like a total badass to just kill, crush it on film sets. And I was talking to him at our party, and he had a really interesting perspective that I never thought of before. He said the actual the, the actors and the talent that he works with really enjoys it when he uses the movie because he gets stuff done much quicker so it's less stressful for them and I'd never really I kind of thought through the content crea uh, creation pipeline up until the point of the person actually creating the content but I never thought through it from the talent's perspective so um, tune in we'll do a live broadcast on that it'll be really interesting he's such a dynamic and engaging speaker so and hopefully he'll just swear like crazy uh, like he normally does it's great um, what else have we got? We got Alt 8. Yeah. Oh yeah, Alt 8. We got Alt 8 in the area here. It's not new, but it rocks. So just fold it up like this beautiful little flower petal with an Airy Mini on top. So these booms just fold out and then you fly and get great shots. Um, been flying Moby Carbon on Alt 8, really enjoying that. Any plans for single hand stabilization systems? Any plans for what? Single hand stabilization system. Well, I mean, we already <laughs> we have several of those. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, it's on our mind for sure. Uh, we're thinking about that space a little bit, like especially as uh, A7S size cameras get better and better and better. It's definitely a compelling space. I mean, you have you can have this tiny little stabilizer and. You know, like Hugh, Hugh, for instance, does a lot of our content creation and kind of his like minimal packages, he's cruising around with an A7S or an A7R2 with a Leica lens on it. And he's creating just beautiful imagery with a tiny little footprint. So yeah, it's, it's a really interesting concept. Nothing solid to report at the moment, but it's on our mind. Right. Any other yeah. questions? We got, uh, yeah, great show. The crew here is killing it. Mike is cooking us awesome food. It was Mike's birthday uh, yesterday, so that was cool. Yesterday, Sunday? Sunday? Two days ago. Two days ago. Let's say happy birthday to Mike. Yes. It, I get that? Question is the A7S2 integrated in the carbon. Hey, Mike. Yes. Happy birthday. Uh, yeah, happy couple birthday. days. Happy birthday, Mike. Happy birthday weekend. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah. Living it up here at NAD with the birthday. Mike is handling all the cooking, so if we all look a little bloated at the end of the week, yeah. he's your man. Yeah, the sodium content has been elevated. Yeah, there was just a mountain of steaks at the house last night. Uh, oh, other thing, check out Evan's podcast, Every Axis. Um, that's, there's one episode live? There's one live, and we'll have more after this Come, come on. Uh, Evan, do you remember the time that I made a funny joke and then you edited it out? Yeah, I'll keep, I'll keep doing that, too. Great. So. That's great. That's how you lose editorial that's, rights. That's part of it. So Unbelievable. You greenlight a guy's podcast and then he cuts your best stuff. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Come play with our new toys if you're in Vegas. And... <laughs>